Hi guys, Dr. Lena Rodriguez coming to you from tomorrow in Australia. So it's already Tuesday here, which is the day where Herschel Walker runs off against Warnock. I'm sure Warnock will be fine. Please, if there is a God, he'll be fine. Now, I've got to apologize. First up, I gave you the wrong time. So from now on for months, 8 p.m. Saturday nights, Eastern Standard Time. I'll be live on Hogarth's channel with Lady G. So if you want to catch me live, we're only on for an hour, once a week, Saturday night live. Yes. So moving on. Well, this week, like all weeks, the Yeti comes out with something new, imbecilic, and worse than the last thing he said. But he's come out with a barn burner this week, hasn't he, that really the Constitution should be suspended so he can be king. Really. Let's not pretend he's interested in election results. He just wants to go straight for the top job. So I'm going to have a look at that because I want to know We've had so many lines in the sand right from day one with this man. Will it make any difference at all to the GOP, um, to those who follow him, you know, into the jungles of Guyana? Will it make any difference? Staggering, staggering. Okay, let's have a look. So here we go. And there's lots to cover today and no doubt the odd digression. So I'll try and start and stay focused. So um, yes. well, you know, he you know, he is the circus performer, but he's never been anything else. And so if people choose to follow him, what can you say or do? But this is a bit mixed. So in other words, there will be a reaction. But will it be enough for them to actually cut off his primary um, run or not? Mm. So... They don't want him anymore. They really don't. You know, there's probably only 20% left of the newly mad Carrie Lakes and the always mad Marjorie Taylor Greens, et cetera, et cetera. They are falling away. Yeah, make me president, make me president. They don't want it. That's interesting as the signifier. So underneath they're wounded, they're wounded from these midterm results. They were really shocked. They expected the red wave and they so didn't get it. What is relevant from the past for this reading? I'm glad you asked. The theft of the election in his eyes. You could say the theft of democracy more generally if you're on the other side of the fence, but this is what underpins it. They don't want him, but they can't even be true to themselves, right? And this is my GOP card. Let's pretend everything's tickety-boo. Isn't it great? And here they are. They're about to celebrate Christmas, these Christian GOPers. They wouldn't recognise Jesus. In fact, if Jesus tried to enter the United States now, they'd be out with tiki torches and um, trying to get rid of him because he's Jewish. I mean, really, they have no idea. So this still prevails. So even this is not enough to ditch him, but he's got time between now and when the, the rest have to announce their candidacy. Um, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Why won't they? Because they, they're afraid of their base. Here, right, like the Queen of Pentacles is in this case the 
Queen of Pentacles gives you the tools to do what you need to do. They've got the tools to actually give him his marching orders. But I don't think they'll do it because they're still in bed with the idea of just making money at any cost. But this is their legacy on the line. This is the card of the legacy. So they're going to have to do some tap dancing, right? But there's a long way to go, as we know, between now and when the others have to announce. And if he keeps going at this rate, they might get to the end. But even this, not enough, not enough. I mean, really. I think these new Congress people coming in should have to read the Constitution, right? That would be a shock. And I think they'd be quite amazed because all they know is the First Amendment, which is I can say whatever I like, isn't it, more or less, and the second, which is armed and dangerous. It's a distortion of the Constitution. And I looked up how long is the Constitution. It's only 4,500 words or something. And then there's a few amendments that have happened over the years. It's not a long document. They should be made to read it. And I think they'd be astonished to actually read and have to think about the separation of church and state. Right? The Constitution of America is designed to give you freedom of religion and the freedom from religion. And they are equally weighted. The founding fathers weren't snivelling derivative sort of Pentecostal nutcases. They weren't. They were educated men and um, most of them wouldn't meet the bar, the low bar of current Christian thinking, um, real Christianity notwithstanding. Okay, I'm talking about these fly-by-night reverends, the sleaze buckets lining their pockets. They're just destructive people. Okay, in another side note, the Roe versus Wade being overturned has led to a vasectomy revolution. Have you caught up with this? Apparently websites where to get a vasectomy have increased, the traffic has increased 250%. So these are men who I would say are thinking men and who understand having children it does involve a lot of money, care, attention, devotion. Men who don't appreciate that and who don't give a dollar towards their children's upkeep, they won't have a vasectomy. No, no, no. They'll be out spreading the love. But increase in vasectomies. Okay. Now, back to January 6th because the report's coming out soon. The commanding general of the National Guard, William Walker, has complained to the January 6th committee in his testimony that they were prevented, they were actively prevented from doing their job, which was to protect the members of Congress and the White House, uh, the House from marauding hoons, you know, from rioting ne'er do wells. You know, really? Um, we knew this, we watched it happen. However, I want to see who is he saying because he had to get orders from somebody right so um let's find out will because he has named names he's named mccarthy mccarthy is sinking lower is every time his name's mentioned it's in a not very good context he named mccarthy and the defense secretary christopher miller so i want to know Will there be any pushback? Will there be any legal repercussions? Will there be anything for McCarthy and Defence Secretary Christopher Miller? 
because they were the ones who gave the orders to the National Guard to stand down. Let's have a look. Will there be repercussions for McCarthy and Christopher Miller? Mm-hmm. Now, broken heart. Who's broken heart? Hmm. So, swords and wands. So, the Empress is here in the middle. I think this is my take on her turning up in this context. I think the Empress here. I don't think it's Nancy Pelosi. I don't think it's a literal woman. I think the Empress is the embodiment of the USA and doing things by the Constitution while you've still got one, America. Okay. So I think that's what she's doing there. Now, the broken heart, again, I'm getting more of a collective vibe here. I think that it broke the heart of... Your average American, including your good selves, those who are watching um, and who those who had fought to get there to become the new Americans over the years, waves of immigrants, it broke their hearts to see this happening. I think it's the collective heart. Right? Eight of Wands, this was the actual physical insurrection, Eight of Wands, incoming. Coming in the doors and windows, turning weapons on serving officers, etc., etc. This was the events of that day. And then the Nine of Wands, I think this in a way is um, the, the J6 committee is trying to repair the damage. And you can't repair the damage unless you know the damage you're dealing with. And their job is nearly done. So what's going to happen next? That's, that's another question after the report. And I think this is them. Um, one arm in a sling, meaning Republicans do not want to look at what happened on that day because it doesn't serve their stupid, shallow, inconsequential agenda. So they're operating with one arm, okay, you know. So I'm going to leave those cards there and ask because if people haven't read the Constitution, which is 4,500 words, they're certainly not going to read the J6 report, right? 800 pages plus. They're not going to read it. So people by and large are going to be dependent on their news silo. So we who watch, uh, whether it's MSNBC or independent broadcasters or whatever, will have legal analysts telling us the gist of what it said, just as the maggers will have. I presume Alex Jones has still got a microphone in his hand. How is that possible? Declaring personal bankruptcy, not good enough, not good enough. I think the broadcasting platform should also be brought to bear because they didn't stop him. When he first came up with it, it was their job to go, Alex, bridge too far, this is too tasteless, we're talking dead children, no. And he would have gone grumble, grumble and back down, but no, they didn't. So they are just as responsible as he is. Yeah. Speaking of which, Fox, I'll get onto that. But like I said, there's so much my mind's ping-ponging around. So will the report itself have an impact? I'm not even going to ask will it have an impact on American voters because, like I said, people are going to have it pre-digested in their silos. So will it continue legally to give birth to court cases? That's the important thing, particularly with the GOP taking over the House. So will the report lead to more legals higher up? I think it was Glenn Kirshner who said the boots are going to jail and the suits aren't, and that about sums it up, really. 
Will the report lead to more legal ramifications? People like McCarthy and others, the Roger Stones, the Yetis. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, my Biden card in Terrasson. Okay, so I think it's not Biden, of course, per se. It's Biden will have to sign something, I guess, going forward to liberate the DOJ once the committee shuts down to continue their work. So I think there is Biden is involved here, but I think symbolically. It's got to be methodical and keep going one step at a time, slowly as it is. It's excruciating to watch and wait, but it's still this card gives me confidence that they will plod on and the card of victory. So I'm liking that. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Okay. Now, speaking of nasty people, we have Mark Meadows ordered to testify in Fulton County about the Georgia election. He, of course, tried to weasel out of it, squirm, squirm, fudge, fudge, and again, a group of judges said the legal case is pathetic, really, just indefensibly stupid, and no, you do have to go and give your testimony. So what will Mark Meadows do in his testimony to Fulton County? This is Farney Willis's domain. Will he give up the goods? Do you, can you plead the fifth in these things? Um, let's just see the vibe around Mark Meadows and testimony about the Georgia election. Let's see. Let's see. Mark Meadows. Mark Meadows. Have a look. The sun, the fire, two nines. Hmm. Oh, and justice, that picks me up a bit. I think he's a very, very arrogant man. I'll show you. So the sun coming down means that judgment I was just talking about. No, Mr Meadows, off you go. You have to testify. The galloping horse with the sun, you testify. Why do you have to testify? Because you are a branch of government. The White House in the background, right? Yeah. But you don't really want to because you'd rather go on holiday to Guadalajara or something. You know, this is a bit of a floater, a bit of a dilettante card here. And the arrogance I was talking about. He's so arrogant. He doesn't think he should have to. It's like Mike Pence uttering the words, Congress does not have a right to my testimony. What planet does he live on? How dare he? How, the, depart, the party of law and order, gone. It's gone. He was personally threatened with being executed and still he dovetails back. He must be on major medication. Maybe that's why he's so peculiar. Okay. So back to Mark Meadows. Doesn't think he should have to. The arrogance here to me is implying he's going to give the bare minimum, you know. However, the ghost of Ruth Bader Ginsburg is coming down on his sorry ass, right? The justice card. The justice card. So watch this space. But, I mean, really, these men, 
all their lives they've been hand on the heart, law and order and the Constitution and America the Brave and all this stuff. And when push comes to shove, no, it's a house of cards. Oh, sorry about the pun, house of cards. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, moving right along here. Um, yeah, I was saying before about Fox, when I started my rant about it shouldn't just be Alex Jones, it should be the platform that pays him a huge salary, um, the Dominion Voting Machines case is going ahead that's suing Fox for $1.6 billion. Love the B word. And Lachlan Murdoch, who's the son of the satanic um, Rupert Murdoch, awful. Bear in mind they're all Australians. They took out US citizenship, but they're all Australians. So I can't pretend we have no interest in them. We do. So Lachlan has to actually respond to that lawsuit, but I'm not going to read on it because who cares what Lachlan Murdoch does or says? Who cares? What we could ask is, will this case, 1.6 billion is big bucks, right? It catches the attention even of the billionaires, right? And the Alex Jones Infowars thing. Will these court cases mean they will, I don't like using the word censor. It's not censorship. It's just common decency and not shredding people's hearts and lives by spreading your absolutely toxic view of the world. Ooh, yucky poop. So will these court cases make these people think at all? Okay. All right. So this is Fox and Infowars. Will they make a difference? King of Wands, there's Rupert. Oh, I was shuffling for ages. I was shuffling for ages and the card of the arrogant smug merchant came up. I love tarot. So here's the King of Wands. This is both Rupert Murdoch and whoever leads um, the Info Wars, whatever channel he's on, right? This is these guys who make money out of human misery. That is what they trade in. Right? It's them. Will it make a difference? Well, they don't care, right? They're so arrogant, they don't care. This can be fool's gold. So I think because it will cost them money, they will move away from some of the worst of the worst, but not altogether because here's the, the seven of wands, which is saying they will fight to keep for their right to say things that are still bad, wrong, untrue, damaging, dangerous and morally corrupt because that's where they are. So they'll still fight for that right. But in answer to that question, they are going to move away a bit from the worst excesses. And you see Elon Musk has now taken yay off the airwaves, not a minute too soon. Okay. So I want to have a look. We're getting closer to the Moore versus Harper um, SCOTUS decision. So I'm going to make that the priority for my next vid. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's it's terrible, actually, that the Supreme Court have even agreed to hear it. That's not good. What it's about is it's called independent state legislation theory or something. I know that's a mouthful, but breaking it down, 
meaning the states would then have the right, if, if SCOTUS goes for this, each state would have the right to just throw out the voters' votes and the state legislators would decide who would go forward. In other words, the end of democracy, properly, literally, completely, end of democracy. So this is not a small case. Moore versus Harper. So I will look at it next time because I don't want to just tag it on the end of a video like now. So, and I want to finish with Ukraine and Russia over Christmas, what will happen. Um, in the meantime, while I'm giving my cards a good mix-up, volcanoes going off in Hawaii and Indonesia. This is Pluto stuff, deep earth upheavals. So that's coming from the centre of the earth. And then we're seeing it on top of the earth in forms of the protests in China and in Iran. Um, have you seen that the morality police, ew, how hideous is that term, the morality police, Um the Iranian government is saying we will actually disband the morality police about hijabs and things like that, but the women do not trust them, and I think they're wise not to trust them. Over 18,000 have been arrested. Oh, my God. But they're not buying it. The women and their supporters are going, hmm, don't believe you. So that's interesting. And in China... The white paper protest is going ahead in Russia. I was just seeing a little thing last night of the number of men leaving Russia. Like, so when the war first started, in the next couple of months, 300,000 plus Russian men left Russia so they couldn't go into the army. And that's before... Putin announced in September the, the huge dad's army approach. Anyone who had two legs could be called up, didn't matter what age you were, how young, how old, how anything. And another 300 odd thousand have left since September. So that's over 600,000 men have left Russia. And that has left a hole, along with the sanctions, meaning there's nothing on the shelves in agriculture, manufacturing and tech industries, those are 600,000 workers who have left. So I want to have a look because Putin is now dipping into his truly Dr Evil mode. He's left landmines in Kirkoon and places. I can't believe these weapons are still in the world. So I want to look specifically at Christmas because both the Ukrainians and the Russians by and large are quite religious despite, you know, generations of communism. They are quite religious. So will Christmas and apparently, correct me if I'm wrong, viewers, but as I understood it, the head of the Orthodox Ukrainian church and the Orthodox Russian church particularly the Orthodox Russian Church, is a Putin puppet. Well, you'd have to be to serve in that country at that level, wouldn't you? Uh, so will the other true, I'm going to say men of faith, step up and really condemn this invasion? And will it have any effect at all? So let's look at Ukraine and Russia over Christmas. Ukraine and Russia over Christmas. What do the cards say? A bit of a retrieve. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm going to go as far as to say I think Christmas will usher in some sort of peace talks. I don't for a minute think that means 
Ukraine and Russia are going to sit down and agree and it's all going to stop. I'm not saying that, but I think peace talks are in the horizon because. Um, okay, Nine of Pentacles, the card we just had before for whoever it was, it's a card of comfort and ease. We're talking about a war zone. So it's like a time when people are remembering the deeper things Pentacles represent our values. We always think of money, sometimes, oh. but values. And so people are going to be looking at that. And to a certain extent, here's our Cossack soldier running off with the swords. To a certain extent, no one wins. You know what I mean? When with armed conflict, one side may come out having killed more people than the other side, but no one really wins in moral terms. Young people are going to have a say about this. This is the page of wands and people are going to listen. The two cards that I'm really happy to see are the sun, light and illumination on the topic, will there be a breakthrough, and the world. And so this is bringing other international leaders Right now, Russia's not going to listen to the US. It doesn't matter what Biden says or whoever, it, because, you know, you guys have been mortal enemies since the 60s and stuff. That all needs to go and be revisited. But he's not going to listen to America. He's not going to listen to the UK because it's on its knees. He will listen I think, to some of the other hard men around the world, maybe Erdogan from Turkey, maybe Xi Jinping. But people from around the world will be working on coming to some sort of detente. I don't even think it will be the new year, but it's the beginning of this process of talking. This is about talking rather than lopping people's heads off. Okay, so just to progress to talking, you know, sustained ceasefire, whatever, whatever, will make a difference, I hope. I so hope. Now, beloved, intrepid viewers, someone said to me during the week um, to throw out ideas around um, Christmas presents that don't cost a fortune. Now, for many of you who are not active Christians and you may be Jewish, Muslim, Baha'i, Hindu, Sikh, pagan, you're off the hook for this season, hopefully. Blessed be. But what are some um, ideas to save money around presents? And so I bounced back with her. A few things we came up with. One is... You don't have to be a trained masseur to give someone's feet a rub, you know, just put them in some hot water for a while and the Epsom salts and, you know, a bit of hands-on stuff. doesn't cost money. Another thing to do is instead of spending all the money on the ingredient, because it's quite expensive to make a real Christmas pudding and stuff with all the ingredients, but you can then make little tiny ones. You could maybe make six little present puddings instead of just plonking it on the table for the big one. Um, with children, a good idea can be a small plant. Here they only cost $2.50 or something in a punnet, a couple of those for a child and help them plant it because even if you're in an apartment, you can always have an indoor plant and teach them to water it, doesn't hurt. Or my old standby for children under three, you really get their favourite toy and wrap it up in big cellophane. And a two and a three-year-old loves nothing more than pulling all that paper apart and finding their favourite giraffe or elephant or teddy. You don't actually have to spend money on the under threes. Wrap up their favourite thing. Yeah. People used to call me mean. However, all the kids I brought up, including the foster kids, all knew the value of a dollar and they laugh to this day about 
their early presents, you know. But you can spend hundreds on kids' stuff and it still breaks or the kid isn't interested two days later. So you can try the plant thing. Now, I'm inviting you, send ideas for free or cheap presents because presents should be in exchange from the heart, not how much they cost. Okay, so take care and I'll be back in a flash and remember the new time to catch me live is on Hogarth's channel every Saturday night, 7 to 8. So if you're going out, you can still go out. Awesome. Love you guys. Bye now. See you next time.